How about seeing the face of our Lord? Is that one of the things that also... That's the ultimate. Oh, that's the ultimate. That's seeing the ultimate. Allah, our Creator. I'll give you a, a, a comparison. I know Allah has the highest comparison. But, you know, if you're just a small employee in this huge company with hundreds of thousands of workers, you just started working there as an intern, you'll never see the CEO. The CEO is on the news. You know, you work at a post office means you work for the government. You're never going to see the president. But imagine you got invited to the White House. The post office worker, the clerk, got invited to the White House. And he's got a private one-on-one -on -one meeting. And instead of you extending your hand, the president extends his hand and says, Welcome. He honors you. And then he pours a drink for you. How honored would you feel? Oh my God, what are you doing? For me? That's a human being that we think has honor. Now imagine, the slave of Allah among billions of slaves on this earth, from the beginning of humanity to the end of it. How insignificant would he be before Allah? And yet Allah says, Salamun qawla min Rabbi Rahim. Allah, the, masterful, the merciful master, is going to be saying salam to him. He's going to be saying peace to him. He's, congratul he's saluting him. And then in another place he says, Saqahum rabbuhum sharaban tahura. Their master will give them to drink. Imagine Allah offering you to drink. It's, these scenes that are described in Jannah, they're, they're beyond our imagination. But when we hear of these scenes, you know, one time somebody asked me, what's the, what's the big deal about paradise anyway? What do you get? I just told him drinks. <laughs> What's in my mind is Allah giving me drink? What more can I ask for? 